welcome to my Ghost in the Shell um, Geisha robot makeup tutorial. I love this robot. <laughs> it's pretty cool and I wanted to see what I can do with it. I did not wait and order a wig for this look because I'm not very patient and I wanted to do this makeup right away. So I just decided to be a little bit crafty and I created this cardboard geisha haircut. It's very easy to do. It took me about a couple hours, but it's super cheap and it kind of, it's kind of fun. It was really relaxing painting the thing. So yeah, that is the cardboard I used. And here's the result. Um, so if you want to do this, just yeah, use some cardboard and paste paint. Anyway, oh, bless you. <laughs> Anyway, uh, without further ado, I'll leave you with a tut tutorial if you want to know how to achieve this geisha look, keep watching. Alright, so I'm going to get started with my eyebrows. I want them gone because the robot uh, doesn't have eyebrows, so I'm going to hide them with uh, some glue stick and uh, some powder and a sponge. And then, yeah, uh, I'll be applying uh, one, two, three possibly four layers of glue and let it dry in between each layer. Yep, otherwise it doesn't look good. Let's get started. <gasps> okay, all right. Yep. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> great. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Gotta go easy on my working out, I think. <laughs> I drop things and I break things. Yep, that's what I do. It's my specialty. I just ate. I hope I don't have anything stuck in my teeth. shade of pink I think yeah and I'll be sketching the round light shape that she has on her face and we will uh, later on fill that in with uh, this pink face paint color or maybe I'll be using my Kat Von D uh, matte lipstick because it's beautiful I love it it's a really awesome lipstick yep focus <laughs> stop saying we it's just me I'm gonna fill that in with white paint yep and then I will set everything with some loose powder cuz my face shines I'm very oily <laughs> I'm gonna be uh, giving my geisha face more dimension uh, by using um, a very light gray color and some 
white paint that I'll be putting in specific areas of my face such as the cheekbones, temples, uh, chin, uh, under my lip. It's basically contouring, geisha contouring. create this pinkish reddish fuchsia uh, color and I'll be putting it in the corner of my eyes uh, where else yeah well I think the image is big for themselves <laughs> so I'll let you watch doing some nose contouring here Using a darker um, fuchsia color, I am creating the um, rectangle square shape that she has on her lower lip. You don't want to shake when you do this. You don't want to shake full stop for this look. Especially for the, the thin lines that she has all over the place. They drove me crazy, you need to know. Uh, yeah, anyway, with the same color, I am uh, sketching and drawing the, um, I don't know, the water drops, or I don't know what they are. I don't know what there are in English, anyway. I'm drawing these drop, uh, water drop like, or cone, cones, I don't know what they're called, I'm so sorry, on my forehead. And for the upper part, I, I'm using a light pink. <laughs> Breathe. Okay, now we're moving on to the lines. I dread them. I'm using a very thin brush and I'll be drawing all the separations that the robot has on her face. forehead going down to the nose and mouth was the trickiest one you can't shake you can't breathe you cannot put too much pressure either it was really it doesn't look like it I, I don't know if it does but it was really really difficult <laughs> This is the hardest thing I've ever done. I'm, I'm not breathing. I forgot uh, the little uh, triangle red shapes she has under her eyes. Gradient red, gradient um, fuchsia, 
triangle things she has so I just did them and I also did my eyes I used some white paint and the same fuchsia paint that I used for the uh, forehead and uh, everything else and I'm drawing uh, a line just as if I was doing my eyeliner and then I will set everything with loose powder otherwise it will look messy and all ugh, disgusting now we have come to the last part of the makeup my favorite part if you ask me because this is what gives the makeup the whole plastic aspect I'm using a very thin brush and white paint and I'm drawing these lines using the reference photo and also my own uh, judgment and I am just adding patches of white all over the place in order to make it look like it's very shiny and it's uh, made of plastic to the makeup by applying a little bit, little bit more white under the uh, black lines that I have painted earlier I hope you enjoyed this makeup it was super fun to do and uh, I don't know what I'm doing uh, I'm crazy yeah maybe <laughs> I don't remember what I was thinking at the time when I recorded this. Yep, I don't know what is going on in my mind maybe I'm tired yeah I think so <laughs> anyway guys thank you very much for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel click the button leave me a message it makes me happy Yes, it does. And thank you. I love you guys. See you next time for another tutorial. And keep smiling, keeping happy. And yeah. <laughs>